know, uh, he saved or, you know, he delivered. All right? It says, uh, it says, oh, happy, it says, oh, Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. But of good cheer, it's like it says, be of good cheer, my people, my memorial of Israel. You know, Zion is that memorial, man. You notice it says, my people, man. Okay? Let you know, man, the Lord has one people, man. Has one particular people that he's dealing with. Okay, verse 6. It says, for we are sold to the nations, not for you. It says, ye are sold to the nations, not for your destruction. You see? Let you know the Lord sold us to the nations, man. Why did the Lord sell you so-called Negroes, Hispanic and Native Americans, to the nations? For, as for punishment, man. You know, for what we have done and what we still, well, I, I ain't going to say we, but as a whole, our people are, uh, uh, has, you know, uh, latched on to other gods, man. And the Lord also tells you he's a jealous God. And he was talking to the Israelites, man. He wasn't talking to all nations, man. You see? Because the Lord has brought us out of these different captivities only for us as a people, you know, to uh, go into, go back into uh, these things that the Lord has delivered us from. Okay? Worshiping idols, man. Eating unclean food, you know, pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, man, you know. Uh, you know, we still have uh, our people, you know, they probably got away from pork, but still eating crimp, uh, uh, shrimp, crab, and lobsters, man. And catfish. Okay? Th these are uh, abominable things for us, man. As Israelites to be eaten, man. We are a holy people, man. You see? We separate from all other nations. Alright, it says, uh, it says, ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. See, the Lord sold you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans to other nations, not for your destruction, but for punishment, man. You see? It says, but because ye moved the Most High to wrath, you see, we made the Most High mad as a people, man. Okay? It says, uh, it says, ye were delivered unto the, unto the enemies, man. Okay? So if you go into the book of, uh, you know, uh, Psalm 83, it tells you who the enemies were. Who the enemies were to you, or, or are to you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So let's go ahead and grab that, you know, all through the spirit. All right? This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 83. And uh, so like I dropped it just real quick. 83, we're going to start at verse 1. It says, Keep not thy silence, O God, hold not thy peace. Be not still, O Most High. So, hey, and this is a prayer from David, man. David, you know, David was a, a, a man that's uh, near and dear to our Lord, man, or uh, uh, Yahweh, sorry, okay? So this is a prayer from David. It says, For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. See? It's going to let you know who the enemies are. Who are the enemies of the, uh, of the Israelites? So-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. You know, you have a, a gang of uh, uh, Israelites that don't know they're Israelites. They love the enemy, man. You see? That's the weakness, man. You know? Let's read it over. It says, verse 2, it says, For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. Okay, and, the, uh, you know, the, uh, one of the uh, apostles was going into this. And, and through the Spirit, it brought me to the same book, man. And that tumult is like a, uh, a controversy, a lot of noise. You know, people talking against, you know, the Israelites, right? To, uh, to, to come up with this plan, right? And we're still a part of that plan to this day. It says, it says, and they that hate ye have lifted up the head. You see? You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans have an enemy, man. You see? And you're going to have those Negroes out here that say, man, I don't have any enemy. Yeah, man. The Lord has made 
all creatures some type of enemy to each other, man, until the uh, kingdom is, you know, uh, set up. You know? You have animals that have enemies, man. What, what make you more better, man, not to have enemies, man? Hey, only in the kingdom, only in the kingdom where the Lord set up to where, you know, we won't uh, have any enemies, man. You know? We're going to rule in righteousness, man. Okay? And anyone come against us, hey, it's going to be a death, death sentence, man. You see? There ain't going to be no enemies. The Lord's going to put the spirit of, you know, uh, going into, I believe that book of, uh, was in the book of Jeremiah where it goes into where they're going to have, you're going to have different wild beasts going to eat straw. They're not going to, you know, eat each other as food anymore, man. You know, and this is, you know, uh, uh, pertaining to the, the, the kingdom. The kingdom of Yasha'ala, man. Okay? So let's read on. Verse 3. It says, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consult against thy hidden ones. See? And who are the hidden ones? The hidden ones are you so-called Negroes, man, Hispanics and Native Americans. Why the Lord call us the hidden ones? You know? Because why? Because we don't know who we are as a nation. But the Lord has woken uh, 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 a remnant of men up, man, to know who they are through the spirit and know their true nationality, okay? Because this nationality that we have put upon us now, you know, was given to us by our enemy, man, the so-called white man. The so-called white man told you you was a, a black. The so-called white man told you you was a nigger, man. The so-called white man told you you was a Negro, okay? An Afro-American, an African-American. You know, we know Afro and African, African American has nothing to do with us as a, uh, as a people, man. You see, that word a African comes from Leo or Skippy, Skippius Africanus, man. And America is America Vespucci, man. All these are so-called white generals, man. Uh, 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 Roman, uh, uh, so-called Romans, man. Uh, Greeks. With the, we know them as the, the Edomites, man. They are the Edomites of the Bible. And you look read more into the Bible tells you that the Edomites and the Israelites are enemies of each other, man. So-called white man is enemy to you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see? Hey, the Native, the Native Americans and the, uh, you know, Hispanics, they were in slavery first, man. You know, they was, they were put in captivity first. You see? And then you can read on that, uh, and uh, I believe that's uh, second edge of 13 of talking about the 10 tribes, okay, coming into this new world, okay, been, been put in subjection under the so-called white man, which was a, he called himself Spaniard, okay, at that time. That's why you so-called Mexicans know Spanish, man, okay? Your true language, language is Hebrew, man, as well as so-called Negro true language is, is Hebrew. Okay, and the native Indians, so-called native Indians also. Okay, reading on, it says, verse 4, it says, They have said, come let us cut them off from being a nation. Come let her, us cut off from who being a nation? Come let us cut them off from being a nation. We're talking about you so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans, man. They said, come let us cut them off from being a nation of people. What nation is that? The nation of Israel being a Hebrew Israelite, okay? It says, uh, it says that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance, man, see? Okay, and, and, and hey, I was right at that uh, part in the video where Apostle, uh, Apostle Ramlar was in, man, and he was going through the same thing, and I, you know, and, and it was all through the spirit, man. I never knew that I was gonna go through this, you know? Okay, and I believe the name of his uh, video was They Know Who We Are. Okay, uh, roughly paraphrasing that, you know. They know who we are through the spirit, man. They know that you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Hebrew Israelites. They know you the Israelites, man. Okay, but, you know, you have our people walking around down south, man, that, you know, talk about, well, all the tribes, you know, as a whole. You know, but we have uh, a remnant of our people has waking up, you know. And everybody knows about this truth, man. Everyone 
not through the four corners of the earth know about the Hebrew Israelites. They know about this truth. Like the Lord says, man, the, the, the word will be preached throughout the four corners of the earth, then the end shall come, okay? So right now, this, this, this truth is being preached throughout the four corners of the earth, man, okay? This truth is everywhere, man, you know, via the internet, man. That's what the internet was set up for. The internet was set up for this truth to, to evolve the whole earth, man. You see? Yeah, man, that's a beautiful scripture, man. The Lord said this truth will be preached throughout the four corners of the earth, then the end shall come, man. So right now we're pretty much at the end, man. You see? We're at the end where the end is gonna bring on a lot of turmoil, okay? With this end coming, hey, it's gonna bring in lawlessness, man. And I preach that every week, man, okay? It's gonna be lawlessness in the streets. You see? Yeah, it's gonna be lawlessness, man. No 911. You see? Yeah, man, this is what the end is gonna bring. The end is gonna bring a hell and chaos, man. A famine of food and water. Imagine that. Imagine you can't get food or water. And you calling on the so-called white man Jesus. That nigga ain't gonna help you. So I can put my rules and feet. But that so-called white man is gonna be the one that come against you. Huh? Yeah. All right, read it on, verse 5. It says, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Yeah, all nations are confederate against you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But you're going to see that, man, at these end times. You're going to see the so-called white man bring up his military force against you, man. Okay? That's what the so-called white man is going to do. The so-called white man is going to bring his military force against you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see? Yeah. Hey, that's what the servant of the Lord is supposed to do. This I'm doing exactly what the Lord wants me to do through the Spirit, man. To bring out and tell you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans that the so-called white man is going to bring his military against you, man. Okay? And whatever military uh, uh, gurgle, troop, gurgle troops he can get from, uh, you know, from other places, man. They're going to come here and act a donkey, man. And the so-called white man is going to be cool with it. And I'm talking, I'm talking about, about the higher up first, okay? I'm talking about the, uh, the, the elite bankers, you see? This is all the plan, man. Okay? So right now... Hey, we're supposed to be in mourning, man. We're not supposed to, you know, uh, uh, be all out, you know. I mean, I know, you know, you get to a point where you want to take a vacation here and there. Well, you know, I mean, I'm guilty of that, you know. But still, this truth is where it's at, man. Okay? Okay, it says, uh, let's read verse 4 again. It says, they have said, come, let us cut them, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. Meaning the nation, not, not the people that's over in Israel now, but the nation, the true nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, man, Hispanics and Native Americans. Okay? We are the true nation of Israel. You know? Because, uh, what, uh, in 1948 is when they put those people over there that's over there now, man. They're not the true Israelites. You know? The true Israelites are here, man. You know, and, and, and for uh, South and Central America, okay, and the Caribbean, okay, for the most part. The Lord says he's going to make us a, as the sand of the sea. So you can have Israelites all over the place, man, okay? Woo! It says, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. They are against thee, man, Okay? Uh, look that word of confederate against thee, man. Well, we're going to, well, yeah, let's see if we can look it up. Okay, uh, Psalms 83. Verse 5. We're going to look this word of confederate against thee. That they are confederate against thee, man. See, that's what lets you know, man, the Lord is, and we would have never known this. I mean, I'm saying as me, 
I would have never known this five or six, well, I'll say about 10 years ago, man. You know? I had a zeal, but not according to knowledge, man. So the Lord has put the spirit of knowledge on the apostles and elders to, you know, allow us to uh, come with the truth or uh, get the understanding of it. Okay? Okay, it's pronounced uh, Bereed. Uh, okay, the outline of the biblical use is the covenant, covenant alliance, pledge between men. Okay? Yeah. That's what it is. That's an alliance between nations to come against us, man. So if they have an alliance of nation of people that come against the Israelites. And you're going to see that uh, uh, those people come against us in these end times, man. Okay? You're going to have people that's, you know, that you never knew that had a, a true beef with you, man, come against you, man, you know, and ready to kill you, man, you see, hey, and I was watching, the, I watched, uh, well, I watched some of the movies, uh, I can't even think of the movie, the guy with the, uh, played in, uh, what was the movie, uh, uh, where he was Neo, the character, but he got another movie, I think it's John Wick, yeah. And uh, Samuel was in that movie also. And uh, so the guy was like, uh, you know, I had to see it all the way through to the beginning. I know it'd be a good movie. I'm gonna try to, you know, watch it through. But uh, Samuel was on top of the roof, I guess. He was like a pigeon, you know, he had pigeons or whatever. And so uh, he had these people to come through his building and he was on the rooftop. And, uh, you know, he knew they came to kill him. And he uh, said something to the woman that was behind him. He talked to the woman, then he turned around and this, uh, you know, this uh, looked like a uh, Korean guy, a Japanese, a Chinese, or whatever, had a sword. He, and Sam, uh, uh, not Samuel, but uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 man, what's the guy's name? I just had his name on the tip of my tongue, but I think I might've been calling him the wrong name, but. He said, long live the king. And the guy just sliced and diced the man with the sword. Okay? So he, he was ready to go to, he was ready to, you know, die for it. So he said, long live the king. And that was spiritual, man. He knew that, that you know, he was going to come back, man. And that's how I looked at it. That, you know, that the Israelites are going to come back on top, man. So-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They're going to come back and be on top, man. Oh, and through the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Yahweh Shai as, you know, as our righteous ruler, you know. With David as the king, man. I and mean, there's going to be many kings, okay? All right, it says, uh, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. They are confederate against you, man. So-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. Verse 6, it says, the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites. Now Edom is the so-called white man. And the Ishmaelites, man. So Ishmael, the Lord put Edom first, man. You know? And the brothers always talk about that, man. Okay? Edom is the chief house, man, of our enemies, man. You know? He's the true enemy of the Israelites. Starting with Edom, man. It says, it says, uh, it says the tabernacles of Edom which is the so-called white man. Ishmaelites are the, what, the Arabs, okay? Uh, Moab is the Chinese. And the Hagarines are the uh, African tribe, man. Okay, so the Lord has these nations set up to come against us, man. Okay? And as the time goes on, man, you know, it's going to get worse and worse for us. Uh, uh, us as a nation of people here in America, man, which is it's going to travel throughout the four corners of the earth. But all everyone always look at America as that prestige place to be, man. America is going to be like a third world country, man. Third third world war country, uh, well, world war, but a third world country, man. Okay, imagine that. You know, it says. Uh, Okay, we can end it right there. Got the rest of the uh, nations. Uh, we got Amalek also. And Amalek is the so-called Jewish, man. See? They are, and they call themselves, 
you know, the true Jews, man, which we know the true Jews are the so-called Negroes, man, okay? The southern uh, kingdom, man, of Israel, you know? Uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. But, but mainly Judah is the true Jew, man, you know? Which those names I named are the southern tribe, man, of southern kingdom, so like that. you know? Let's read, let's finish it off. Verse 7 it says, Jabal, Ammon, I think Jabal is uh, another African uh, tribe. Ammon is the so called Japanese. Amalek, like we said, was the 1948 uh, uh, or uh, whatever they call themselves, uh, the Jewish over there. Okay. Philistines, okay, which are the, uh, another tribe, uh, African, and Tyre, and the inhabitants of Tyre, which are, you know, and all these all the nations, man, it's 18 nations, man. The Lord only has love for one, man, which are the Israelites. And the rest of the 17 nations, the Lord said, these are our enemies, man. You see? Hey, and this time that goes on, man, it's going to get worse for these so-called Negroes, man. Hispanics and Native Americans, man. It's going to come hard. It's going to come down hard on us, man. Okay? But the Lord did say, his servants shall eat in those times, man. Because... Hey, this, this, this government is going to make it to where there's going to be no food and water, man. Okay, imagine that. Imagine no food and water, you know, so your child can eat, man. Okay? That's why this truth is so important, man. Okay? This truth is very important. This is how salvation is established, man. Okay? All right, let's, uh... Uh, hey, check this out. This is Isaiah chapter 61 and uh, verse, verse 7. It says, For your shame you shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion, therefore in their land they shall uh, possess the double everlasting joy shall be unto them. Okay? And this is talking about the Israelites. Once the Lord sets up his righteous kingdom here on earth, man, as it is in heaven, man. You see? And people always think that it's, everything is going to uh, be in heaven, man. The Lord is going to set it up here on earth, man, to have men to rule this earth in righteousness, man. You see? Yeah, man. The so-called black man is going, uh, and the Hispanic and Native American man is going to rule the country, man. Rule the universe, okay? With many wives, man. You see? And right now you see a lot of women that go on social media and they say, my man cheated on me. Well, this is the, uh, this is the way the so-called black man has been, man. Uh, and, Native, and Native American and uh, Hispanic man has always been, man. Back in the ancient time. We have many wives, man. And that time is coming back. When the Lord takes it up, set it up, man. Okay? And our women are going to be in righteous order. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, but back in Baruch chapter 4. Uh... Uh, verse 6 again, it says, Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the most high to wrath. Ye were delivered unto your enemies. And, it, hey, and this is the way of the Lord. This Lord does this, man. The Lord sent us to, to the way so we could, uh, you know, be punished, man. You know, for what our forefathers had done. Okay? Which if you believe anything about reincarnation, you know, uh, and, and then them lives, man, we had to bend our forefathers. It says, uh, it says, for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils. Yeah. You know, all these different idols, man, our people started uh, sacrificing, uh, uh, making sacrifices to, which, you know, uh, we're supposed to sacrifice and say, Yahweh, Shimei, Amshah, our 
you know, for uh, different sins that we committed. This was our, uh, 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 this is this is the way we did it. You know, once we sinned, we would uh, make a sacrifice to our Lord, man. Or uh, uh, Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. It says, for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to God or the most high. It said, ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. See, the Lord set that place up over there for us, man. Okay, with all, with, with milk and honey, man. It was, it was plentiful for everything, man. That, you know, everything you needed was over there, man. That was a land of milk and honey. Okay? Well, the Lord has put us in this captivity right now to where, you know, we're still on punishment, which the punishment is, is pretty much almost up. So, uh, let's jump down, uh, still in the Baruch chapter 4. We're going to jump down to verse 21. Uh, Wait a minute, verse 7, is, let's start at verse 17. It says, but what can I help you? Verse 18, it says, for he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from, your hand, from the hand of your enemy. See, the Lord has punished us for sacrificing to devils, right? But at the same time, he's going to uh, uh, save us, man, because he knew he's waking uh, a remnant of his people up, man. A remnant of us have waking up, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. You know, I'd like to say the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for that. You see? Uh, it says, uh, verse 19, it says, Go your way, O my children. Go your way, for I am left desolate. I have put off the cloth of peace and put upon me the sackcloth of my prayer. I will cry unto the everlasting in my days. Okay? Be of good cheer, O oh, my children, cry unto the Lord, and he shall deliver you from your from the power and the hand of the enemy, man. Y'all see that's what we supposed to be. That's the that's the mindset we supposed to be as people, man. You know, we supposed to be crying unto the Lord, man, to to be delivered, man, in the time to come. Okay? Because the time to come, man, hey. The Lord said that he's going to allow the devil to come in like a flood, man. You know? And the devil is the so-called white man. Okay? He said he's going to allow him to come in like a flood. Okay? Verse 22, it says, For my hope is the everlasting. My hope is in the everlasting, which is, who? Yahweh Shai. Bashim Yahweh Shai said that he will save you, and joy is coming to me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall uh, soon come unto you from the everlasting Savior, okay? So the Lord has set up a Savior, man, for the Israelites, man, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, not for any other nation, man. And, uh, and, out, of all, and out of those nations of people, it ain't everybody's not going to be saved, man. Only a remnant of our people are going to be saved, man. You see? Uh, verse 23, it says, For I am... For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but the Most High will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. You see? The Lord has sent us out with weeping and mourning, man. So that's the lamentations that we're supposed to be in, man. We're supposed to be in that state of lamentation and mourning, man. Okay? Because the future has is going to be hell, man, for us to deal with. It's going to be hell in this captivity, man. Okay? It's gonna be like it had never been a time uh in this in this in this day. Uh I'm trying to uh let's see. Let's see, uh let's see. Hey, that's a good one. This is uh the book of Daniel, uh chapter nine and verse eleven. It says ye all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey my voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath is oath that is written 
and the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. Verse 12, as a he, as a he had confirmed his word, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. So the Lord has a brought a great evil upon his people, man. Why? Because of these transgressions that we have, you know? And transgressions is, you know, these sins are stacked on top of each other, man. Sin on top of sin. Okay, it says, uh, it says, for under the whole heaven had not been done as had been done upon Jerusalem. Uh, Barak Samyal Bashim Yal Shah. That was the scripture I was looking for, man. You see? Okay, let's, uh, Hey, this is another one. This is the uh, book of, we're still in the book of Daniel, chapter 12. Book of Daniel, chapter 12. And uh, verse 1, it says, At that time shall Michael stand up. And Michael is one of the archangels, man, that's going to come with our Lord Yahweh Shah. Uh, and the scripture says it'll be thousands upon uh, thousands of angels, man. Okay? Within chariots, man. So the Lord going to have it to where salvation is going to eventually come, man. Okay, it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which stand for our children. So the Lord set up us an angel, man, which is Michael, you know, to stand up for his people, man, that great prince, which, you know, we all are princes, Yasha Allah, man. Okay? Uh, it says, "Great, that the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people." And who is the children of thy people? The Israelites, man. Well, well, well starting with the elect, man. The only the elect is the, uh, uh, the uh, will be who will be saved in this this time that's coming. Okay, it says. Uh, it says, and there shall be a time of trouble, which we spoke about through the Spirit, man. It's going to be a time of trouble that's coming, man. Okay? Such as never, well, it says, such as never, well, since there was a nation, even to the same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that it shall be found in the, uh, uh, found in the book, found of the written, written in the book, to like it. So, and that's going that's the elect, man. The only the elect would be, uh, uh, would be found, man. I'm going to read that again because I kind of stumbled over it, but let's read it again. It says, at that time shall Michael stand up. That's right. And this is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. It says, at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never, such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Okay? So the Lord has a a, a remnant of the people. So he, he, he's going to be delivered in these times, man. Hey, that's what being a, a that's what prophesying is all about, being a prophet or a servant of the Lord, man. Is to prophesy and tell the people what's to come, man. Okay? Yeah, man. Hey, this this is uh America, this is the uh of the future of America, man. In the four corners of the earth. All nations are gonna be eventually come to uh this 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 you know, this troubling time. Okay? And you can see it, man. The elites have set it up like this, man. Which is ultimately is, uh, you know, is, is you know the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, but he's allowed man to do what he wants them to do. He put it in their mind, right? He turned it the way they wanted, you know, the way like a. Uh, how did that scripture go? Uh, I gotta bring that up. I think that's uh. uh Uh, how does it go? Uh, uh, how does it go? Uh, I think it's in 
Jeremiah, it might be Isaiah. I can't even remember how it went. Let's, I'm going to look for it. I believe I got it somewhere. Let's see. Let's grab it. Uh, I think it's Isaiah. Well, it might be. Let's see. Isaiah 43. Hey, that's a good one, too. This is Proverbs. Well, not that one. That, that's not it. Let's see. Well, let's read this one before I find it. Through the, uh, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 15. In verse 3, it says, The eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. See, the Lord knows what's going on. You see? Uh, let's we read this in Proverbs chapter 20. In verse 24 it says, Man's goings are of the Lord. Yahweh, how can a man then understand his own way? You see? Oh yeah, here it is. Barash Sam Yahabashim Yahabashah. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 1 it says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord Yahweh, as the rivers of water, he turneth it with whatsoever he will. So, you know, the, and it's talking about these different rulers of the nations, man. The Lord puts it in their hearts the way he wants them to, uh, you know, this thing. He won't orchestrate, okay? He orchestrate the way he wants it to be uh, set up, man. This is the Lord's movie, like we, you know, through the apostles on down, as we've been saying for years, man, this is the Lord's movie. Okay, let's read that again. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. It says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Yahweh, who's the king? The rulers of the earth now, man. Okay, starting with the elite bankers. You know, the Rocker uh, Rock, Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, all these are nations. These are so called white men that rules this earth, man. Okay, so the men that's running the earth are not doing nothing with. They, they, they're not doing their own agenda. They're doing the agenda of Yahweh Bashim al Proverbs chapter 21 and 1. It says, The king's heart is in the, in the hand of the Lord Yahweh, as the rivers of water he turns it whatsoever he will. So the Lord has allowed uh, uh, these kings of the earth to do his bidding. You see? Verse 2, it says, Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord, Yahweh, who pundits the heart. See, the Lord controls these men, man. And all men, the Lord controls, man. You know? And, you know, I had a few people look like they, you know, they, they were a bunch of women and a little boy, you know, he probably going to be a sweet, you know, he's talking more than they are. But, you know, they, they, they don't hear it, man. You know, all they worry about is they pork chop sandwich they get from the you know, this uh, uh, Magic City, uh, you know, grill over here, man, you know. And, 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 you know, niggas look like, oh, that nigga crazy. Well, you know, we crazy, but, you know, y'all about to see me outside. This is, hey, I'm willing to do this work, man. I love it, man, because I know what's to come, man. I know it's a reward in the end. When everybody's in, in, in you know, a race of, of uh, 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 cluelessness and darkness. The Lord is gonna have a silver spirit on his on his men, okay? Because uh, the times will come as the straight lawlessness is coming to America, man. You know, all over the earth. But America's always that 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 uh, that state that being uh, saved while everybody else is, you know, uh, in disarray. America's always laid back and got it all. You see? But the Lord is going to allow these elite to do their thing. To allow them to do what he wants them to do, man. Okay? He's going he to take that bottle out of your mouth, man. Or that titty that you've been sucking on, man, for all these years. He's going to take the titty out of your mouth. And there's going to be a lot of crying and mourning, man. Okay? Uh, let's see. 
far as the scripture go, men, men are going to be crying as what, what, that long, uh, let's see if I can find it in there. Uh, crying as women. Let's see if I can. Let's see. Just stay with it, you know, because uh, let's see. I think I seen it in uh, uh, let's see, with the lawn, uh, but yeah I don't see it but let's get this one man this is uh I think it's in the book of Isaiah but let's uh read this one and then we'll jump back to Isaiah okay we're gonna not make it so long it's 45 minutes you know uh, okay this is uh this is Jeremiah Okay. Verse uh, six, uh, chapter sixteen, and verse four it says, "They shall die a grievous death, grievous death." It says, "They shall not be lamented, lamented, neither shall they shall they be buried." And this is what America is coming to. Okay, and, and you know, all over the, the uh, four corners of the earth gonna see this. But I always say America because you know this is where we at, man. You know, and so the Lord is coming back with righteous judgment, man. That's why we say repent before it's too late. You see, and people, man, are, 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 are latched on to this 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 beast system, man, and they love the way they live it, man. They love being uh, uh, all uh, you know the type of wickedness that they in, man. Hey, that's what they love it, man. That's why the Lord is coming back, man, to destroy mainly Babylon the Great, man. It says they shall die a grievous death. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their uh, carcasses shall, the, shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. Yeah, see? And this, hey, this is, hey, and this pretty much wraps up everything I said, man, through the Spirit. You know, everything, man, because this is what it's going to come down to. Okay? Okay, uh. This is Isaiah chapter, uh, chapter 60 and verse 2. It says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. So that's what we're seeing right now, man. People are definitely in gross darkness, man. They, 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 they are, you know, not true. They don't understand what's to happen, man. Okay? It says, but the Lord Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. His glory shall be seen upon who? The men of the Lord. Okay? Let's jump down to verse 10. Isaiah 60 and 10. It says, The sons of strength shall build up thy walls, and the king shall minister unto thee. See? And this, hey, and, and this is where, you know, the elites are going to go into captivity. And the, the elites are going to build up our walls, man. Okay? The elite bankers who's running the world that worth, you know, millions or trillions, man. Uh, you know? You see, the people that print the money. 
You see, they gonna be a they they gonna be the tail in this time, man. Alright? Okay, it says uh It says, and it says, and the son of strangers shall build up thy walls, and the king shall minister unto thee. It says, for in my for in my wrath I smote thee. This is your house speaking. Yah Bashimi Abishai says, but in my favor have I mercy on thee. So the Lord is gonna have mercy on his men, man. The, uh, the Israelites that are uh, a part of their, 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 their remnant, the elect. It says, therefore thy gate shall be open continuously. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring in, may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. It says, and that their king may be brought. For the nation, for the nation and kingdom that will not serve the, serve thee shall perish. Ye, those nations shall be utterly wasted. You see? So there will be a nation of people that will be a wasted, man. So as let you know, the Lord is not going to, uh, you know, save all nations, man. Okay? If the Lord is not going to save all of his people, why would he save all nations? You see? All right. Uh, Isaiah 55 and 6, it says, Seek, seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, while he may be found. It says, Call ye upon him while he's near. And this is the time you call upon the Lord while he's near, okay? Because if you don't, you know, the Lord is not going to be helping ears in the time to come. You see? As it reads on, it says, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thought, and let him turn, return unto the Lord Yahweh, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Pardon. It says, for thou, it says, for my, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, says the Lord Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. All right, verse uh, ten. It says, for rain cometh down. And the snow from heaven returneth not thither, but water the earth and make it green forth the bud that they may that it may give seed to the sower and the bread to the eater, so that my word shall not go uh, Salak, it says for Salak, it says, So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. So the Lord is going to allow these things to happen, man. He's going to allow all these things that he prophesied, uh, uh, sent his men out on the street corners to prophesy. These things are going to come to pass, man. Okay, so the Lord says words should not go out void. Okay, it says, um, it says, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall pros prosper in the thing whereunto I send it. And that's going to be throughout the four corners of the earth. You see? All these things the Lord is going to have to happen, man. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and end it there and give all praises and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Kodash, double honor to the elder apostles, great millstone without us, this truth, and shalom to the hopeful elect.